the first thing we always tell, it doesn't matter whether they're looking for licensing or they really think they're startup mode, um, is to do as much looking around as they can. Build their own version of a prototype, duct tape and cardboard, Legos. I've seen some good ones out of Play-Doh and pipe cleaners, whatever, to get a three-dimensional image out of your head and into something that you can look at because you learn a lot. All right. The, the first thing you pay money for is a patent search. That's the first thing you pay money for. Um, so I'm, I'm glad you say uh, that duct tape and cardboard and Play-Doh and these things are okay because as a patent attorney doing patent searches, there's nothing worse than having completed a search and having to deliver the bad news that an invention is not new. And then to find out that the inventor has put $5,000 into a professional prototype uh, and to have this beautiful, basically reinvention of the wheel because somebody else has the patent. Yeah. So I like the that, first, you're not yeah. advising people to go out and, and produce a beautiful prototype first. No, that's, you know, that's, it's a waste of money. And, you know, in some of the questions you sent me ahead of time, it's like, oh yeah, I, you know, don't, don't do that. You know, your first prototype is just what you can find stuck in the basement. You know, if you can go and buy, buy another version of it, at, you know, at a Walmart and then readjust it, but inexpensive, it should be inexpensive. There'll be time to pay for them, but not now. 